Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, hump day, and a new release day, and almost at the end of the month. And we got 2023 Cosmic Chrome Baseball. Full case break, 12 box, pick your team two coming at you. Big thanks to this group right here on the 30th for getting into it, for making it happen. Rob with that double last spot mojo with the Guardians and the A's. And here's the case right here. Well, for the purposes of the joke, the barbecue makes, makes more sense, Rex. To make that dad joke work. It's like my my dad joke. Where do uh, where do uh, sea creatures go when they get hurt? Specifically, creatures in tide pools. They go to urchin care. All right, urchin care. That's not a word, but that for the joke, it works, Rex. Box one of 12. Good luck, everybody. I think the current batch of Cosmic that we have on the site will probably be your best price, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of case price, just overall case price, because the next batch of Cosmic that we, and I think we are getting more, I think the next batch of Cosmic, I think the price has already gone, gone up. Well, it is where it's a fish, so I'm not really a fish, I'm an urchin. But also, barber Q would be two words, is how I see it in my head. So I got some of the U.S. Open, the tennis U.S. Open on in the background. And oftentimes, every year I see, and this is at any major tournament, any Grand Slam, you see these kids with these giant tennis balls that they have. Uh, and they're the size of a, this, their, their tennis balls are the size of a beach ball. I wonder how, how much do those cost, you think? You know, you think they, they probably sell them on site for, a ridiculous amount of money, right? Otherwise, you're, if, if you're in New York at the US Open, what are you doing? You're, you're hauling a beach ball sized tennis ball through the subway? You're not doing that, right? All right, here we go. Um, and all card ship, just double checking that. It's too nice not to. A lot of fun parallels here. Now remember, the autos are few and far between, so just keep that in mind. So it's a lot of parallel hunting. I like this too, look at that. There's the Brett Beatty. It's like a, it's like a Van Gogh painting. And, and well, look, at, look at me telling you that autographs are few and far between in the first box. Here we go, a George Kirby. 21 out of 25, Joe S with the S Mariners. Nice, nice orange ray wave, looks like. There's a CJ Abrams refractor. We got star clusters, a cluster of Mets right here. Got a Volpe rookie card. Bryce Harper just mashing this week. Maybe for the last month. There's a planetary pursuit, Uranus. 
We're going to be grown-ups here. It's going to go to the Angels, Rob, with the Otani. I think all the different planets, I think, are shorter prints. Let's see how short printed this one is. Wow, that's really short printed. Yeah, nice one, Angels. That's Rob Wegger. Rob, the planet Uranus is one out of every 20,087 packs. Woo, there he is. There you go, Rob. That's awesome. So I guess if you if you remember your your uh, your astronomy, the sun is the most common one, and then the next planet, Mercury, is out of 480 packs. Then Venus is out of 721 packs. Earth, 12 out of 1,200 packs. Mars, 1680. Jupiter, 4,800 packs. Saturn, 9,600 packs. Uranus, 20,000 packs. Neptune out of every 34,000 packs. And Pluto at almost 41 out of every 44,000 packs. Wow. So a great start. We'll do a little recap on that a little bit later. There's CJ Abrams, green speckle to 75. You're welcome, Rob. Thanks for getting in. There's launched into orbit die cut, Jordan Alvarez. We've got an Aaron Nola. We got Matt Mervis to 199. There's an Adley Rushman rookie card, Juan Soto die cut. All right, great start. An auto and a short print. The Planet Pursuits. Man, I'd like to pursue some players in Planet Pursuits. That'd be a fun, that'd be a fun little project. All right, so now is it Rob's mission in life to get to fill up that set with Otani, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, etc., etc.? Now, in Planetary Pursuit, astronomy fans, they include Pluto on there, which I think some scientists, if not most scientists, most astronomers, do not consider Pluto a planet. What's everyone's take on that? Is Pluto a planet or not? You know who's happy about Pluto being a planet in this set? Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw's great uncle, maybe, was one of the uh, was it the, one of the first guys, if not the first person, to identify Pluto and declare it a planet. So you know where Clayton Kershaw sides on this debate. He's happy that Topps has decided that Pluto is a planet and put him under the planetary pursuit checklist. You gotta keep the stars happy, ladies and gentlemen. Although I don't think Kershaw has any input on this at all. Box two. And let's see what we got in here. Good luck. Another Adley Rushman base, Trey Mancini to 199 for the Cubs. That'll be for Darren. Launch into orbit, die cut, Albert Pujols. All, the, all these Rushmans are going to go to William and the O's. There's Kershaw speaking of. 
speak of the devil, there's Kirsch. What's that, what, what is that parallel called? Let's see if I could find that. Maybe a nucleus? One out of every 15 packs? Might be nucleus. Because every, everything else is numbered. This is not numbered. Yeah, nuclear, big blue confirming, thank you. These are kind of cool too, it's, it's like Starry Night a little bit right there. There's Christopher Morell. Tommy Henry Refractor. Yeah, prime time, nothing, uh, nothing for uh, William and the O's except for a couple Adley Rushman base cards. But we're only, this is only our second box here. There's Jeremy Pena, 25, nice. It's been a lot on the team I should have known. Well, prime time, I mean, don't give up on the break. We're only two boxes in of 12. So let's not panic just yet. Play to the whistle. You can panic when we get around here. Maybe these last two boxes and there's nothing. It's nice, right? I like it. Look at look at this uh, Otani Uranus. Yeah. That's out of one out of every like twenty thousand packs. I know. That's crazy. Take a Pluto. You got a Julio? No, it's the exact Pluto. Oh yeah. I think that's what Rob meant. Uh, so base super fractor is one out of every 4,763 packs, and that Otani planetary pursuit is one out of every 20,000. Around there, it's one out of what every 20,087, I think, to be exact. But so you can kind of see how crazy rare that card is. It's awesome. That's a fun chase. Planetary Pursuits. That's a good pursuit. Rob, do you have the Angels in the rest of these? Because at this point, maybe we can pursue. We'll kind of try to get you close to that, to, the, to a set, to building the set. Interesting. It's a small sample size, but with the cases you've seen so far, it seems like Uranus is way less than one out of every 20,000 packs. You saw one case with three of them? Mm. Maybe that person just got really lucky. You could probably go, go on a run of cases with, with nothing, I guess. We'll see. We'll find out. All right, onwards. It's a cool Rushman insert there for William and the Orioles. And then we've got Logan Gilbert for the Mariners. That's to 99. Um, they call these Blue Moon Refractors. That'll be for Seattle, that's for Joe. Launch into orbit die cut. We got Dansby Swanson, Aqua Shimmer to 199. That'll be for Darren and the Cubs. Miguel Cabrera die cut. 
Oops, what's going on? How are you? Extraterrestrial talent, Corbin Carroll, nice. And Orion Mountcastle. There you go, Orioles. That's gonna be for William. Pablo Lopez, Esther Ruiz, and Jorge Polanco. And the Corbin Carroll will go to Jose. All right, we're a few boxes in, a few more to go. A lot more to go. Good luck, everyone. It's probably a good time for me to whip around the, the league. What's happening in baseball today? Let's check the scoreboards here. I know there's a lot of games that started early today. We've got a lot of finals on the board here. We've got the Mariners edging out the A's five to four. Looks like uh, J.P. Crawford bases loaded knock kind of puts them ahead for good. Astros beat the Red Sox in in Fenway seven to four. Reds beat the Giants four to one. We got Encarnacion and Strand breaking the game open with a home run in his hometown ballpark. There you go. Alejandro Kirk drove in two runs today. Blue Jays shut out the Nationals seven to zero. Bellinger gave uh, the Cubs the lead in the eighth. Cubs ended up being the Brewers 3-2. Cubs playing some good baseball. Cardinals beat the Padres 5-4. Tommy Edmond homers for his second straight walk-off winner. In extra innings, Guardians beat the Twins 5-2. Cole Calhoun, three-run homer, breaks it open for the Guardians. White Sox beat the O's 10-5. White Sox crush three homers and win over the Orioles. And look at that, Brandon Drury hitting a uh, go-ahead two-run homer for the Angels. They were down for most of that game. They beat the Phillies 10-8 with a, a team that's really going nowhere. Released a bunch of players. I don't know if those players ended up anywhere. Yeah, that, that is a heartbreaker because I was kind of watching that game earlier today. And they were, I felt like they were cruising. Ah, Kimbrel. Strikes again. Yeah, Kimbrel with the loss. Five losses on the season. You don't want to see five loss. You don't want to see too many losses in the loss column for a closer. Yeah, Dodgers had Kimbrel last year. I know how. I know how that feels. All right, we'll check on the other games in progress in the next box here. Star clusters. I think these are all the same players, right? Yeah. Michael Harris. What are these inserts called? These are pretty cool. Not an extraterrestrial talent, not launch into orbit, not planetary pursuit, not star cluster. Stars in the night. I was, like, I was close. Starry night. I see what they I'm see what they're doing there. So I don't know how short that's one in every 20 pack, so it doesn't seem like it's too short printed, but there are parallels in there, out of tens, out of fives, and one of ones. So let's keep an eye out for some of those. Another autograph, extraterrestrial talent, Julio Rodriguez. Here I am preparing everybody for not a lot of autos in the case. We've got what one two, three we've got three already in the uh we got three already in the when we're not even done with the first half of the case nice that goes to joe and the mariners joe s with the julio rodriguez j rod who's been on fire let's save uh, francisco alvarez and Rex was mentioning earlier today that that there's like a there's a three-way tie in the AL West, so that'll be a fun fun stretch run through September to see who uh, comes out on top. 
Luis Garcia to 25. We might have to brush up on tie-breaking rules. I don't know what they are, but if it gets close, we might have to think about that. And we've got Planetary Pursuit, Mercury, Masataka Yoshida. So Mercury is a little more common, but still one out of every 480 packs. And that's a nice rookie there too for Jacob and the Red Sox. I'm really digging this Planetary Pursuit set, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. To pick a player, build a set, I think that would be a lot of fun. There's a launch into orbit die cut rookie, Francisco Alvarez, and a Zach Nito. Nito, 275. Yeah, me too, Duncan. I'm, I'm digging the look. It's even better than last year's. That die cut's gonna go to Vaughn and the Mets, and the Zach Needle will go to Rob and the Angels. And on to the next box. Yeah, I, as I was mentioning before we started this stream, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get your teams now because the current batch of Cosmic on the site is gonna be your best price for Cosmic. After we get our second batch. Our next batch of Cosmic is going to be, uh, the price has gone up on us already. So. so get into it before the price goes up on you tonight. All right, there are some baseball games in progress. Let's see what's going on here. We got the Yankees up early on the Tigers, 4-0. Going into the bottom of the third. The bottom of the fourth, Rays and Marlins are scoreless. Rays at Marlins. Top of the fourth, Mets have an early 3-1 lead. I guess it's really not early. Halfway through the game, I guess. Mets are leading 3-1. We got some games coming up. We got three games on the later slate. Pirates at Royals, Braves at Rockies, and then the late game Diamondbacks at Dodgers. It's a 7-10 start. Yeah, nice win for the Blue Jays, shutting out the Nationals. All right. Another box, good luck. Got Zach Ranke, 15 out of 50. Nice gold there. That'll be for the Royals. That's going to go to DY in Kansas City. Launch into orbit, Otani die cut. There's an Otani nuclear. I'm sure all those inserts and parallels have a little boost in value just because of the player that he is. Otani extraterrestrial talent. All that for Rob. They all add up, Rob. He might be an alien. Got an Otani starry night.
Trout and Otani star clusters. Got Anthony Volpe, Aqua Shimmer. Nice, to 199. Nice one for Matt and the Yankees. I think we saw some Volpe uh, base cards, but this is the sort of stuff that we want to see. Nice, really sharp. All right, onwards, next box. Box six of 12. Good luck, everyone. We've got pick your team two in the store. We only one team down since we started this break about 25 minutes ago. So if you want to get another one going, 13 teams left. I think the Diamondbacks are already gone. I think a lot of the bigger teams still gone in pick your team three on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get after it. And this break will get done probably close to the top of the hour. If that other cosmic if the Cosmic 3 sells out by the top of the hour, we can do another one right away. Otherwise, you may have to wait until, uh, until after my break because we're kind of in that, getting close to that zone. Encased Football, also the other brand new release, that's also holding at 13 teams left. First to fill, first to break. For that Encased Football, if you buy at least two teams, you get one entry. Basically, by an even number of teams, half of that number becomes an entry into uh, potentially getting these Steelers. So a chance to win the Steelers. And I know the main folks will be on these new releases, but there, there's also a bunch of other fun stuff on the website that we can do. There's two different pristine baseball breaks. That's still popular. Uh, we got two box random teams, and we got full case picker teams. If you want to start working on those, keep chipping away at that. And we can go from there. Listen, the orders help. I know a lot of people like to wait until a break is close to filling or something like that, but if orders are coming in, I can go through those orders and then shout out the names and shout out, more importantly, shout out what they bought. And that'll help push a break along. And that, you know, helps me, you know, focus on what break should I be, should I be pushing along. So that, that's definitely a big help if you do that. I appreciate that, folks. There's Nathaniel Lowe, Blue Moon to 99. I think this is this was an, a, a refractor. That might be a little bit different from the other star clusters we saw. Trout and Otani, Rod. Nathaniel Lowe will go to the Rangers. That'll be for Tristan in Texas. Launch into orbit. Ken Griffey Jr. die cut. Maybe they're all refractors. Corbin Carroll rookie card, just base. That'll be for Jose. It's for parallels of this guy. That's what I want to see. There's Austin Riley to 199 for the Braves. Justin. A little Aqua Shimmer. This is definitely a fun break because of all the uh, of all the parallels and shorter printed cards that you can chase. Again with the fewer you know autos not being guaranteed a box. We got Rafael Dever, Starry Night. This is not really a rookie card, but it's still a good-looking card there. It's Josh Young. And Will Myers is our last card here. All right, we are halfway through the break. About another uh, 30 minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate you. Anything else going on in the baseball world? Just news in general? I know Rex was mentioning that looks like uh, Jason Dominguez is going to get a is going to get a cup of coffee. Speaking of which. So that'll be interesting to, to, to keep an eye on. Uh, 
the Jason Dominguez process. It'd be good for the hobby. There's so much hype around Jason Dominguez, like the first couple products that he was in. Man. And then, like, like most times, the, 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 the hype dipped down a little bit, as, as what tends to happen as we wait for them to make, you know, make their way through the minor league system. And then, who knows? Once you start getting closer to the majors again, you start seeing those prices start to creep back up. Box seven of twelve. Brand new release, Cosmic. We've got more in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com onwards. Got Bryce Harper, Blue Moon to 99. Extraterrestrial talent. Francisco Alvarez. That'll be for the Mets. That's gonna go to Vaughn. And an Edwin Diaz to 199. I wish we had some, some to give away, Duncan. These are these are short printed T-shirts. And unfortunately, Duncan, there is a very long list of people that we owe T-shirts before before we get one. Bryson Stott, extraterrestrial talent, autograph. Nice, 12 out of 25. That's for Rob and the Phillies. There you go, Rob, on the board with the Phils. Starry Night, Will Myers, Tyler Freeman. What's up, Rex? Just saw that if the season ended today, the Cubs would play the Phillies and the Brewers Giants. What do you think? Cubs should be able to get by the Phillies, right? Oh, no. It's, it's way too early for that kind of talk. Season ended today talk? Are we doing that? That's, it's, I feel like the race, the, all the wild card races are so close. I mean, we could be talking about a different, if the season ends today, all the time. Let's worry about the, let's worry about the Cubs officially getting a wild card spot first. But Bryce Harper has been hot, that's for sure. Hey, there you go, Big Lou. Glad to get you that Bryson Stott on a rough day. Something to look forward to in the mail. Out of 25, too. I like that orange ray wave kind of pattern in the background. Duncan, we'd rather have you buy in to group breaks rather than spending money on t-shirts.
I hear you, Duncan. Our, our merch game, very poor. Our merch game is very poor. You gotta work on that. There's DJ LeMayhew, Aqua, to 199. Yeah, the we just don't really have a good good solution, or I mean, just because of exchange rates and shipping, and it's just hard to keep our international customers happy, Duncan. But I appreciate you watching and getting in when you can. Carlos Rodon is going to reveal something red here. It's a red Brian Bayo, and that is four out of five. That's for Jacob and the Red Sox. Jacob, out of fives and under, gets the world-famous train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Nice. Oh, man. Rex, I want a zip-up hoodie, too. There's a Riley Green Starry Night. Nice rookie Starry Night for, uh, or Stars of the Night. I'm calling it Starry Night, like the Van Gogh painting. Which is the obvious inspiration. But that's gonna go to Michael and the Tigers. I really like the, I enjoy the way that set looks. And there is an Oswald Peraza for the Yankees. That's going to be for Matt. Matt Smith with that one. Green speckle or moon or something like that. Esther Ruiz, Corbin Burns, Will Myers. Four boxes to go. Yeah, very aesthetically pleasing. I went to, uh, when, after the National, I went to the, uh, the Art Institute of Chicago, where they had a really nice Van Gogh exhibit. Although I think if you're, if you're one of those guys, I think, uh, I think it's pronounced, I think technically it's Van Gogh, or Gogh. Anyway, they had a nice exhibit there, but uh, it was more of his time in Paris, painting things along the Seine River. No Starry Night there, ladies and gentlemen. No Starry Night. I don't know where that is, actually. Where is Starry Night? I think I saw some sunflowers. Oh, you missed out on the, the, the short printed hats, Rex? I missed out on that. Oh, and going back to going back to the discussion about who your Cubs may play. So it's hard to kind of talk about that because you don't know who they're really going to be matched up with. But I'll tell you, we can reframe the discussion in this sense. The World Series odds to win the World Series odds for the Cubs is plus 4,200, so 42 to 1. The Phillies are 14 to 1. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the, the, the Vegas market thinks of, you know, the potential to advance. Although the Diamondbacks are plus 8,500, 85 to 1, so Vegas is implying that if the Cubs, if they face Diamondbacks, should be a little bit better of a matchup. And Reds are 210 to 1. So I think the Phillies are definitely, I think the Phillies are a better team on paper than, than the Cubs, and the market reflects that. 
Cubs versus Diamondback, Cubs versus Reds. I think that's 50-50. Uh, Starry Night is in New York, says Sam Clark. Thank you. At the Met? I've been to the Met. Met's really nice. They got a nice bar on the top, on the roof. Nice Corbin Carroll refractor. I think, I, I don't think these betting markets, at least these, these in-season odds are not based off of what anyone did last year. This is all, all these odds are, I mean, preseason odds, yes, but these, those in-season odds definitely based on what they're doing now. So I don't think, they, I don't think they take last year into consideration at all. Corbin Carroll refractor for Jose. And there's Gunnar Henderson, nice, starry night. Oh, at the Museum of Modern Art. Right. Nice Gunnar Henderson for William and the Orioles. Is, is that a permanent exhibit there? Is it permanently there or is, is it temporary? On loan from somewhere else. George Springer. Autograph. Nice one for the Bluebirds. That's going to be for Pat and the Blue Jays. Uh, Rex, you, you are you are far too you are far too uh, sentimental, I think, for the betting world. Whoa! What's this? I think you'd bet with your heart too much, I think. It's not a bad thing as a fan, but... Wow, 6 out of 10, Julio Rodriguez, Supernova. Seattle, Joe Simone. Wow, Big Loose has saw two of those Julio Black Eclipse Supernovas this morning. There's a lot of sharp looking inserts in this set, ladies and gentlemen. I almost like the I almost like the sets that don't have as many autos where autos aren't guaranteed. Because I think you get so much more value out of like the, the inserts and the lower numbered cards. Here's a launch into orbit rookie die cut for the Cardinals Jordan Walker. It'll be for Jake. Vaughn Grissom for the Braves. That's to 199. That'll be for Justin. Oh, it's permanent. Bought by the Museum of Art back in 1941. All right. Good to know. Thanks, Sam. If I ever want to... I do want to go out there and see it. It's good to know. Thank you. Gardner Museum in Boston, that's another place I want to go to. Is that cosmic, Joe? Sure is. Is it like? It's looking pretty cosmic. Pretty cosmic? It, it's, it's, the boss man, I would say that this is, this product is out of this world. Ah, and this PWCC date. PWCC Nate was here. Yeah, it was just here. This one, oh. say hi, you want to watch Hi, PWCC Nate. Well, uh, what is PWCC Nate? Was he just? Show this was this a a social a social call or? Uh, business. Oh, business! Wow. Big things in the world. Wow. Events. You heard it here first, folks. Big things in store. I mean, how great was that national setup? The I national setup, can, yeah, was time. pretty amazing. I. Yeah. That was a night. That, that was a night not to take any of this stuff. Just yeah. go there, go into a room, not take any computer. Yeah. So it's going to be that way next year too. Well, I mean, that makes life a lot easier for us on when we're on the uh, the road team when we're traveling.
There's Ty France to 199. Aqua Shimmer. And Francisco Alvarez. Green to 75. Nice. That is for Vaughn and the Mets. Man, that's some good advice, Duncan. You know what I do, Duncan? I actually bet against the Dodgers every time. Mostly because the Dodgers are such heavy favorites in almost every game. So you get a lot of plus odds. And so if the Dodgers win, I'm, I'm okay losing money. And if they lose, I'll make money. So it's a win-win. I don't think that works for every team, though. But the Do Dodgers every time, I mean, let's look at their odds tonight. I mean, they're always minus 150 and up, you know, like, which is the, in minus 165. You know, like, there's really no... Some people do this. I, I personally don't. If you're into investing in baseball teams and the, the outcome of baseball teams, if you're into that sort of thing, there's no value in in minus 150 and up, I think. Even my, even as low as minus 140, I probably just won't. I mean, I only bet dogs. Corbin Carroll to 99. So at the end of the year, I may be, my win percentage may be under 50%, but I may, I may be at plus money by the end of the year. Corbin Carroll, nice blue, Jose. And here's another uh, Francisco Alvarez launch into orbit die cut. Yeah, Rex, see, Rex pays attention. There's the Yoshida nuclear. Sam, this is your first Cosmic. It looks like Tops is able to get all the packs upright and facing the same way for once. Don't jinx it. But so far, so good. It actually does save me just a little extra time when I'm going through this. Yeah, you're right. They have all been right side up, huh? I like that. All right, two to go. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the intent, Duncan. I think the, de the design intent seems to be um, they kind of have a little more illustrated look, right? It's not just a straight photograph. Looks like they kind of designed it so there's a little more artistry to it, a little more paint on it, if you will. Yeah, parlays I don't even do, Duncan. That's how, that's how Vegas builds a lot of casinos. With parlays. They love when people hit, though. Because then they get more people to get into more parlays. But some people love them. I mean, I, I, my money's too scared for that. But I heard an old story from a from a casino sportsbook manager who says that there was a there was maybe still is a dude that would parlay that would put down a thousand dollars every NFL season a thousand dollars each week and just money line parlay all of the teams all right just straight up to win I don't think even against the spread maybe just to win. And he said that, that that dude would hit like once or twice a year. All you got to do is hit once, and that covers the season, I think. If not, maybe a little bit more. I think $1,000 a week. All right, 17 weeks. And then I think the return would be like $25,000 or something like that. Just kind of a bold move, but all right. Second to last box, the penultimate box, ladies and gentlemen. A Corbin Carroll extraterrestrial talent insert.
for Jose and the Snakes. Bobby Wood Jr., Starry Night. It's a cold-hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Kodai Senga. Another base, Adley Rushman. Some gunners in here as well. Well, well prime time, at least you got, you got some ink in there. You got some Adley Rushman base. A lot of people who are walking away with zero things. So there's this little silver lining. And guess what, prime time? We're not even done with the break yet. Play to the whistle. All it takes is one big card to make up for a big team. Brian Reynolds to 99. If it makes you feel any better, I don't think the Diamondbacks have really hit anything big either. So there's, there's another pricey team. This is just the risk. Ah, oh, you're new to this. Prime time. Yeah, there, there's going to be there's going to be times where you just get nothing. Nothing's guaranteed, I'm afraid. But then there'll be the few times where you get something, a lot of something. You know, it's the thrill of that chase. Yeah, I mean, listen, it doesn't have to be dangerous. It could always be fun. Just manage your budget and expectations, and then and then just relax and know that this is, you know, just have fun with it. That's all. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Cross those fingers. Right, yeah. A little friendly conversation with old Joe. It's added value. Not the main reason why you're here, but it softens a blow if you have a rough <laughs> I, I would, I would hope at least. At least I try to. I don't know. I hear stories from some of the other guys where they're like, yeah, all they, all, all they care about is just, just filling the break. That's it. All right, final box. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Uh, always appreciated. More Cosmic in the store, jazbeescaserates.com. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Look at this. Three out of 10, Ronald Acuna Jr. Is this Eclipse or something like that? I gotta learn all these parallels. As long as you know the names of them, that's fine. No, yeah, Black Eclipse Refractor. Out of 10, Braves, Justin with the Braves. Nice, yes, thank you, Big Lou, confirmed. close to the end here. There's a Miguel Vargas starry night, rookie starry night for the Dodgers. That's for Aaron. I'm not sure what the value of these are, but I think they just look nice. So that's why I'm top loading these rookies. <laughs> it's the, uh, the upper tier rookies. You got Vinny Pascantino, Aqua Shimmer, rookie. That's for the Royals, that'll be for DY. Uh, and that's to 199. 
and a Corbin Carroll base card for Jose at the very end. There you go. All right, quick little recap here in Pick Your Team 2. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Pretty solid stuff. Really like the, uh, really like the Cosmic. That was to 10. Some fun die cuts, a lot of color available. That the Supernova to 10 is really cool. There's the Gunnar Henderson insert. Oswald Peraza autograph. Riley Green, the Brian Bayo to five. That's always fun. Bryson Stott, Volpe. There is the Mercury Planetary Pursuit. Julio Rodriguez. Ryan Mountcastle autograph for the Orioles. George Kirby, and of course, the very short one out of every 20,000 some odd packs, the Shohei Otani Uranus Planetary Pursuit. Ooh, nice stuff there. Thanks for watching, everybody. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next Cosmic Break. Bye-bye.